Governor Abbott wanted jury trials back up and running on June 1st, but that's not going to happen. Local 23's Derek Garcia explains the earliest they could resume and how you can protect yourself when they do. The halls of the Cameron County Courthouse are silent. Jury trials and court hearings haven't been face to face since March. Governor Greg Abbott aimed to have trials begin next week. The Office of Court Administrations missed that date and is shooting for August 1st. It's for the benefit of the public. They really don't want for them to be exposed to anyone else that, is, that, is, that has it. Elvira Ortiz was appointed to the district clerk's position in October and is relieved that the dates are being pushed back. But when August 1st rolls around, can potential jurors with health conditions sit out? At this point, we will present the excuse to the judge, and I'm pretty sure you will be excused for that reason. An excuse doesn't equal a disqualification or exemption. If you want to request a temporary or permanent exemption due to medical reasons, you'd have to contact the jury administrator's office and plea your case. Cameron County District Attorney Louis Sines explains someone with health conditions might not be a prime juror for either side anyway. And, uh, you know, I as a prosecutor will want to honor that because if that, you know, person has indicated by raising his or her hand and telling me as a prosecutor that, you know, he or she is rightfully concerned about being here, then that's going to be weighing on their mind when they're sitting there and we're expecting them to pay attention. For now, the jury trial schedule will remain backed up until the Office of Court Administrators feel it's safe to resume. In Cameron County, Derek Garcia, Local 23 News. If you have a medical concern and have received a jury summons or notice, contact the Office of Jury Administrator's Office.